Welcome friends, I am Muhammad Tahir Ahmed, your online instructor from friends in previous video we learned the use of uh, usage of arithmetic operators and in this video I will tell you about the logical operators so first of all I will duplicate, duplicate this page on the name of logical underscore operators dot php So I delete all the data which is inside the PHP syntax and I change the page because it is the arithmetic underscore operator dot PHP page and now I write logical underscore operator dot PHP now this page is totally blank and I go to my notepad plus plus to begin work over it first I make a comment to tell you the number one is end sign and we can also write the simple end not these fences I have put these fences just to make this end separate from these two signs these two signs is also called the end sign and you can also write the end this is the number one and I duplicate it here I write the 2 and I change the operator this is these are two straight lines they these two straight lines call the R whether you put these two straight lines or whether you write R without the Francis and the third one now I write here 3 friend this is the explanation sign this explanation sign is called the not sign when you use the not you will not write not like and and or you will put here explanation sign and it shows the not now I will explain it is usage one by one so you would understand easily therefore I have written all this signs in comments so they will not show in browser so first I make a variable on the name of username is equal to double cast and semicolon to close and I write here Sadi for example I press enter come down and here I write the spelling there is a mistake the spelling of password dollar password is equal to double cards and semicolon test one two three third variable I make one more variable dollar email is equal to double cards saw dot emerald four time two four at gmail dot com if I use the if statement if Francis and curly brackets I press enter inside the curly brackets and now I call the variable inside the fences if dollar username is equal to double is equal to double cars sadi space end this is the end sign the second logical operator and dollar password double is equal to test one two three now I use the echo not the column semicolon to close and here I write 
you are login br for making a space so now i come here and i refresh the page friend you are watching that this you are login is showing and here still i did not use the else and if i write the else I make two curly brackets and inside these curly brackets once again I write echo double quotes semicolon to close and if I write you are not login please try again also make a bia so friend first the main thing which i want to make you understand yeah you see that this i have given username assigned a value sadi and this dollar username is really is equal to sadi and then i use the logical operator and you can also write here and without fancy without these fancy you can simply write here a n d and dollar password is is equal to test 1 1 2 3 and actually it is test 1 2 3 then you are in login which is showing here that you are login and if i change one thing if i delete this three control s to save i come here and i refresh the page then you are not login please try again why because now Dollar password is is equal to test one two three. Actually, it is test one two. Therefore, it is showing the else statement. You are not logging. Please try here. Now I tell you the usage of this R. These two straight lines. I come once again. I have first of all I have once again written here three. control s to save i come here and i refresh the page now once again you are login so now i will come inside this parenthesis i make a space and put these two straight lines and i write here dollar email double is equal to double quotes so that amit 4924 at gmail.com and dollar password double is equal to test 1 2 3 so friend i have given the instruction through this code to browser that you choose one of this method if user writes here his name username sadi and writes his password test123 then you give his access as a login or if username the if or if user writes his email and give his password test123 then you should also give his success as a login you are watching that here is you are login is showing because both are equal and if i write here in spite of sadi if i change sad and i come here and i refresh the page so you can watch the still you are login our browser is not showing you are not login please try again you are not logging please try again is not showing showing on our browser because i have given the instruction to browser through this code that r because this user email is also right and if i change the user email i just delete one two and i control s to save i come here and i refresh the page now you can see that you are not login please try again because now the browser has seen that both the values there is a mistake in both of these two values here is sad and i have written here sadi and here is 4 uh, time 2 and i have given it to 3 time 
बट इफ आई चेंज डिड द वन मिस्टेक इन फर्स्ट सेक्शन आर आई डिड द वन मिस्टेक इन सेकेंड सेक्शन इफ आई राइट हेयर वंस अगेन वाई आई राइट हेयर वाई कंट्रोल एस टू चेंज एंड आई डिड नॉट राइट हेयर टू आई लेट इट रिमेन फॉल्स I come here and refresh the page. So once again, you are logging because I am saying to browser that one statement should be the right, accurate. And the, if the other statement is false, it does not matter. You give the user to access to our website. So in this way, we use this these two end sign, two straight lines by use uh, straight lines are used for R. So friend, I hope you would have understood it. Now I will give you one more example, which is about the not sign, the third one. So if I write here dollar well is equal to value of one, just for example. and i write here if francis curly brackets dollar well not sign not is equal to well to now i write first i echo i call the echo and i write here condition is true friends i would like to tell you that actually this is the value 1 i have called here value 1 so if i write here value 1 then browser will not show this echo because i have given and i also use the else so you would more easily you would understand more easily i use the else else echo double quotes semicolon condition is false so friend i have given it value 1 and i have also given the same value when here but due to this sign this explanation not sign the browser will show this condition is false actually the browser should be shown the condition is true if i refresh the page then you can see that condition is false is showing here even my condition is accurate so if i write here one more is equal to sign and i control s to save and i come here and refresh the page then you will see that condition is true because actually is condition is true i have given it a value value 1 and value 1 but if i put here explanation sign sign and i go to my browser then it will show condition is false because it is i have given it instruction that if value 1 is not equal to value 2 then you show condition is true so if i change it i write here value 2 value to i come here and refresh the page then it is showing condition is true because i have given the same instruction i have given if well one not is equal to value to then you show this line condition is true and really value well one is not equal to well to because well one is equal to actually well value one therefore it is showing condition is true so i hope you would have understood the usage of this explanation not sign also now i see you in next video